We're in the devotional series where we're meditating on 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, and I, I hope by now that you have memorized that or at least gotten it down in your mind well so that you know the basics of what it's saying. But here it is, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Now, so far we have looked at the first two phrases, His divine power and has given us. And this week we're going to add to that so that we expand the thought. His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness. So as we think through that, His divine power is just reminding us God is the all-powerful Creator God and has given us that He reaches out to us. Even though we don't deserve that, God as that great, awesome Creator God loves us, reaches out to us, and wants to pour into our lives His love and many things that we'll start looking at now this week. And so that's what brings us to His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness. So stop for just a minute and think about that. What does that mean when it says His divine power has given us everything required for life and godliness. Well, this is one of those places where just a simple, straightforward reading and understanding of the verses is the right way to do it. Because it is simply telling us exactly what it means. There is nothing in life that we will ever face. There is no situation, no circumstance that we will ever be overwhelmed with, that we will ever face that God does not give us everything that we need, everything necessary to face that, and not only to face it, but to come through even better on the other side. Now, that doesn't mean everything in life is going to be easy, that when I put my trust in God, that uh, He's just going to make it where everything goes smoothly and, and life turns out nicely so that, yeah, that way, yeah, God's made it so I'm happy and, and just doing good all the time. No. It means that even when I face those difficult things in life, the hardships, the struggles, the crises, I know God is still in control. His divine power is still with me because He is giving it to me. And so I can face any of those hard times, any of those challenges in, in life, and know He is still there with me. He will never leave me. That's part of this promise, that it's not just simply He says, you go do it, but He says, when you face these challenges of life, I'm going to be there with you to use my power that I'm giving to you to face that problem and to overcome it. And it's not just that we overcome the hard things of life, but that when we have a challenge to living in the right kind of way, to living according to godly, Christ-like morals and principles, this is exactly what it's speaking to, that God provides everything I need to face that and to make the right decision. Now, it may still be hard, and it, there may still be times when I'm going to suffer from making those right decisions. But here's the great thing about it, that when I know I am following God and, and I know that His power is at work in me and that I have made that right decision regardless of what it might cause to happen around me, I have an inner peace, an inner happiness that cannot be taken away. And that's because I know in my heart that no matter what I face, no matter what I'm going through, my God has given me everything, everything I will ever need for this life, to live it, to face its problems, and to live a godly life, to live according to the morals and character He wants me to be living according to. So I love this passage. I love this verse that we can find so much in. I hope you will continue with me as we keep meditating on the different parts of it and seeing our God is an amazing God. And He truly has given everything required for life and godliness. No exceptions. Thank you for being with me today. May God bless you.